That was Bob Gates en route to Russia last night with us. Now, Virginia Democratic Senator James Webb, member of the Senate Armed Services Committee and a Vietnam veteran and someone very familiar, a former Navy secretary, familiar with uh, exactly what is going on in the field today. Senator, are you comfortable with the command structure and with the role you, the U.S. is playing? If we're going to discuss what's going on uh, in Libya now and in the future, we have to start with three basic considerations. The first is we have a military operation that's been put into play, but we do not have a clear diplomatic uh, policy or a clear statement of foreign policy that is a, as accompanying uh, this military operation. The second, and I, I, the, the questions you were just asking are, are some that I've asked on the Foreign Relations Committee and the Armed Services Committee, is we know we don't like the Qaddafi regime, but we do not have a clear picture of who the opposition uh, movement really is. I've asked this repeatedly to uh, State Department officials, including Secretary Clinton, in the, in the past couple of weeks. And the third is, yes, we got a vote from the Security Council, United Nations Security Council, in order to put this into play, but we had five key abstentions in that vote. Brazil, Russia, India, China, and Germany. And we have not put this issue in front of the uh, American people in any meaningful way. The President's in Rio, the Congress is out of session. So before we even get into the command structure of this, I think it's very clear to put the marker down that moving forward, we need to get more involved in terms of uh, anything that goes from this point forward. And the, the key factor, Secretary Clinton told us, the game changer, was the Arab League's endorsement. But we saw yesterday they were wavering, they had to be reeled back in, and Goddard has proposed uh, putting some, some uh, air flights into, the, into this mission, but they have yet to show up or are not yet operational, and they're the only ones. Is that real buy-in from the Arab League? Well, I, I would agree with, uh, with that concern, but a concern that I have is that we have been sort of on autopilot for almost 10 years from now in terms of presidential authority in, in conducting these type of military operations absent the, the, the meaningful participation. Uh, of the Congress, uh, you know, we we have not had a, a debate, uh, and and I know that there was a, you know, some uh, justification put into place because of concern for uh, civilian casualties, but uh, this isn't the way that our system is supposed to work.